So today I'm going to speak to you about um, some products that I've been trying out for the past month, kind of just over a month. Um, the brand is called Avin and basically it's a French skincare brand. And just to give you a little background on the history, it's been up and running for years and years. The whole history behind it is actually really interesting. But basically, um, there is a village in France called Avin. I'm not sure if it's in the north or south of France. I think it might be the south. I'm not sure. But um, there's a village called Avin, and basically it has natural waterfalls. And the whole brand is based around the concept of this um, thermal water or Oh, thermal. I don't speak French so I don't want to kind of butcher the language but there's thermal water and it has very um, soothing and anti-irritant properties to it so the whole brand is really really good for sensitized skin if you suffer from basically sensitive skin anything to do with sensitivity of the skin the whole brand is really good for it um, I have normal skin but I really wanted to try some of the products and I had some of the products myself and I've been really really enjoying them so I want to share um, my thoughts on them so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the micellar lotion. Just to point out, I'm again, I'm so sorry if I pronounce things wrong, um, but I don't speak French. But I know a lot of people pronounce micellar different. They say micellar and micellar and micellar and whatever. But I think I, I say micellar. That's how, that's how it's um, spelled. But basically this is the micellar lotion. Basically it is a... Um, no rinse formula cleanser for the skin so basically you can apply this to a cotton pad and it will take off your makeup this I've actually tried another micellar lotion the nukes one and it was my first time ever trying one and I've been kind of I think I'm hooked now once you try one I think you'll kind of understand it um, I used to basically just wash my face with the face wash before but I really really like the concept of like I'm able to lie in bed and take off my makeup. I don't know the whole routine of it I really like. So as I said, you use a cotton pad. These are the ones that I actually use. These are the ones from Boots and they're actually the big ones. You can get the small ones but they just take longer. I prefer using them for my eyes. So these big big ones are actually really nice to use with this. Um, this, as far as I can tell, is unscented. Like There's a tiny little hint of... It's kind of like a powdery baby scent. But it's really faint. Um, basically just does what it's what it says in the tin it is really because there's no smell it, it doesn't leave a residue it's just it's kind of like applying water to your face but it does the job you can see on the pad afterwards it takes off so much makeup I don't think I realize how much makeup would be left on my skin I've actually used this after taking washing my face and then using this on a pad and it really really does a great job of taking off your makeup this is priced I have this actually written down this is priced at 15 26 15 euro basically um, and I really really like it. It says for sensitive skin it's hypoallergenic. Um, I think that's about everything. So I've been really liking that. Um, the next product I'll talk about is actually the moisturiser. I won't go on too much about this. This is the Hydrance Optimal Light Hydrating Cream. I've spoken about this before. I don't want to go on too much about it. But this is my absolute favourite moisturiser. Um, it has SPF 20 and it's an, an antioxidant one. This one is for normal combination sensitive skin. So basically any kind of skin any kind of skin um, type can use this brand basically. But this moisturiser in particular is really, really fab. Um, it just sinks. Obviously it's a day cream. I'm not sure if I said that. Well, not necessarily, but I use it as a day cream. It just sinks into the skin. Um, it leaves my skin so, so soft. I've made, I feel like I'm repeating myself because I've mentioned this so many times. I really, really love this. There's 40 mils in this and that is 24.90. So um, the whole brand is not very low, low cost. It's more in mid range, but the money is well worth it. From the products I've tried, I really, really like the brand and the whole thing, the whole routine together works very well for me. So I'm really, really liking that. Definitely recommend um, this moisturiser. I'm currently, I'm 25, so I'm kind of at the stage now where I am starting to want to use anti-aging. I'm not using them during the day because I feel they're a bit too heavy, but I like using an anti-wrinkle um, or anti-fatigue products at night time. So this is my current nighttime cream. This, again, I'm not sure how to pronounce, Ysithiel. Um, I'm Again, I'm so sorry. Let me know how, how in the name of God would you pronounce that. I'm pronouncing Ysithiel. Um, basically, it doesn't actually say that it's a nighttime moisturizer, but as far as I know, it is aimed to be used at nighttime. Um, it's an anti, basically it's an anti wrinkle kind of brightening cream. I'll just show you the actual formulation itself. As you can see there, it's actually yellow. 
which I was actually really surprised at on a spread it out so I wasn't expecting it to be actually coloured but as you can see there it does have that tint of yellow and I think that really does give the radiant effect once you blend it in it's fine you don't look like you're wearing a face mask or anything but it does give help give that radiant effect which is nice to actually kind of see a cream doing something the one thing I was kind of surprised though is that it is as you can see there it is quite shiny it is actually quite light so I find I have to use kind of two to three pumps of this which I'm not sure that I should be doing because because, like we'll say, this is 30 mils and this is priced at around 30 euro. I think it's 31 euro. So I'm not sure if I should be using that much, but I feel I have to because it is so thin. What I've been doing at the moment is kind of, I'll squirt it out my fingers, I'll pat it all around my face to kind of distribute it evenly, and then I will rub it in. Um, it, again, like the daytime moisturizer, it absorbs really nicely, it, rubs, it absorbs really fast. And I do like it, but I'm not sure that it's going to last very long. So I must double check that, well, there's not much more I can do really, I don't think. But um, it is very nice. It's non-scented and again, it's really gentle. Um, it says normal to combination skin. So again, this will really work on everyone. It is aimed at diminishing signs of um, age, we'll say fine lines and wrinkles. Um, Again, it's always very hard to tell if something is doing that or not, but that is what there is vitamin E and all natural. It also natural. has natural pH and basically it targets, um, as well as fine lines and wrinkles, it kind of targets, what's the word, I'm kind of, like uneven skin tone. So again, that yellow, that yellowness will target uneven skin tone. So I actually really do like that. Um, I'll see how long it lasts me. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I will re repurchase, but I actually do like using it, so we'll have to see. I'm a bit 50-50 about this. Okay, next on to a lip product. This is the Avene Cold Cream Lip Cream. Um, as you can see, this is basically finished. This is my, I think, third or fourth tube of this. I really, really like this. It is so good for, like, severely severely um, chapped lips, really really dry lips. It has glycerin in it so it's really good, um, it's really moisturising and has healing properties. It has, I'll show you the kind of applicator now that it has, that's the kind of applicator so you just squeeze it out, um, I'll show you a little bit. So it just looks kind of like a gel, kind of a creamy gel kind of a thing, kind of a thing, kind of um, formula. This is actually quite thick, I know you can't see but it actually is quite thick so it does last a good while. This is priced at t around 10 euro. Sorry, now I have to refer to my book again. This is, yeah, 10.17, so about 10 euro. I really, really love this stuff. Now, you might think that is a bit expensive for um, basically a lip balm, but this is just my saviour, especially in the cold months. I literally, my my lips crack and bleed sometimes in winter, and this is just a, a saviour. I really, really love this stuff. So, um, again, as I said, all the products have the thermal water in it and this has many more ingredients in it too. So um, I definitely recommend this and I will always repurchase it. And again with this one, it actually has that kind of baby powder scent. Yeah, um, even though it has that, it smells really nice actually. Even though it has that kind of creamy look, yeah, it actually does keep that kind of creamy look on the lips. It kind of goes on cloudy. I wouldn't say it's creamy on the lips, I wouldn't say it's clear on the lips. It kind of has a little cloudy iridescence to it. Um, yeah, so that's really, really nice. I love that. Okay, and the final thing I'm going to speak about is the body cream. This is the Aven Cold Cream Body Lotion. And I have a big packet of it here. This, the first thing I noticed about this is the smell. Now it has, when I smell it there now, it has that kind of baby lotion slight fragrance smell. Once I apply it, it does smell a little strange. Um, on first, second, third applications, I really wasn't feeling this at all. And it basically was the smell putting putting me off. It's so, I can't even describe the smell. It kind of smells a little bit mossy. Um, that's the first thing that comes to my head, moss. I don't know why, what does moss even smell like? But that's just what comes to my head. So I wasn't gone on it at all, but the more I use it, the more I am getting used to the smell and I actually kind of don't mind the smell at all now. It's probably just because I'm getting used to it, but it's actually, it doesn't bother me at all now. Um, it doesn't really linger on your skin, so it's not that much of a deal. It would be nicer if it did smell nicer, obviously, but um, I can get past that. Um, this is for dry and very dry sensitive skin. I actually have dry sensitive skin on my arms. I kind of get little red patches. I used to have eczema as a child. I don't have it now, but it's... I think it's just when I'm in the shower, 
if there's too much heat or if I'm exfoliating too much of my arms, they do get little red bumps. Um, this is really nice. It's like, when I apply it, it's kind of cooling. It's really creamy. Again, like all the rest of them, it absorbs really, really nicely and fast. So you're not kind of waiting around, you know, waiting for it to dry. So that's one thing I really like about it. It absorbs really easily. Um, and oh yeah, actually I wanted to say about this as well. I, like, I'm not a huge body moisturiser, but this, I really, really feel moisturised. Like, I lose that tight, you know, after the shower sometimes your skin might feel dry or feel a little tight. Once you apply this, that feeling is completely gone and you actually feel moisture. Like, if you, even an hour or two later, if you're, if you're to touch your skin, you can actually feel your skin is moist. And it's not that it's still damp or it hasn't absorbed. You can, your, your skin is actually moisturised and I really, really, it's the first time... My skin has felt like that um, using a body lotion. So all in all, I am really impressed with the Ven. The moisturiser, this, the lip cream, I don't know, just I have something really, really positive to say about all the products. The only, if I had any downside, I really don't know. I really don't know. I just love all the products. The packaging is really nice and clean and simple. The whole history behind the whole brand is really interesting. Um, I'm not sure if I, if I said it, but the act, there's an actual centre in France, in a vein, um, they have a hydrotherapy, I think it is, centre, and they do tests on the water. Um, all their studies are clinically researched. Um, it's very interesting, so I advise you to log on to the website and have a look at it. Maybe it's just me thinking it's interesting, but I do think it's interesting. Um, so if you have any recommendations, do let me know, because I'm definitely um, open to trying more of their products. I'm not sure if I'm... I've heard their face mist is meant to be very nice, so I might give that a go. But definitely all the ones I've tried I really, really like. So, of course, leave your recommendations below. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. I see the world. I see it in your eyes. I see your smile. So thank you for staying tuned for my whole video. I'd actually like to tell you I'm going to do a giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away 50 euro worth of event products. Um, I'll leave the link below so you can go and enter. It's going to be very straightforward. You can go and enter on my blog. Um, there'll be a form for you to fill out. It'll only take about 10-15 seconds to enter. So make sure you go there. It's actually only open to Irish and UK residents. I'm so sorry to anyone watching outside of there. But just for this one, it's going to be within Ireland and the UK. Um, I've held a few giveaways before, so keep, stay tuned. I'll probably be doing more. But for this one is just for UK and Ireland. So as I said, I'll leave the link below. Make sure you go and enter. And thank you for watching. Bye. I know this place, I know this song, I know the words